All right, so somebody has decided to join us. Hey, this woman. <laughs> Mary is live in the building. Hello, Mary. Hi. How are you? I'm Look good. amazing. Thank you. Hey, some of us cannot be this <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Giving Hearts Day falls on the second Thursday in February every year and takes place on February 9th um, this year. So do you know that it has been 13 years since Giving Hearts Day was ob first observed. Giving Hearts Day is an opportunity to donate as much as possible to charity organizations and those in need. It is a great way to show compassion and help those that need our help. I mean, so if you're a giver here, please keep up the good work. Honestly, I'm not a fan of giving, giving like giving money and all of that. I know how to give. Yeah, okay. I give, no, not even time. I know how to give um, like the hook and the knife. Mm. And the, sorry, the hook and the whatever to catch the fish. Mm. I don't know how to give the fish, but I know how to give you opportunities okay. to make so, the fish. Mm. So I don't know. Um, usually my own kind of giving is not popular because people tend to want to focus on, because I just believe that if I give you the opportunity to make money, it will be easier for you, you know, to also empower more people yeah. as opposed to just handing you mm -hmm. money. So I don't know if there's a way we can start to reorientate the minds of people. Anybody that hands you money, the person is not helping you. It's the same, it's the same thing. That's why um, politics and money go hand in mm -hmm. hand because the mindset is just give me what I can eat now. But what if you gave me an opportunity, right, to make much more? You know, but people don't think that way. That's why we still have the problems that we have, you know very much prevalent in Nigeria. So, I mean, in the spirit of giving, if you can as much as give, you know, just give people opportunities, genuine opportunities for them to grow and move up the level, you know, instead of just staying in a position where they continuously beg. Mm. That's what I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't scatter that one away. Mm. I'm not nervous. I mean, I agree, I agree with giving people opportunities, but I don't think it's in all cases that that is possible. There are sometimes people need that money to get out of that particular situation. But then if it looks like, oh, it's a reoccurring thing, then yes, giving them an opportunity to create money for themselves or create wealth for themselves is the next course of action. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I agree with you because sometimes when you keep giving people money and you keep handing them things, they get very entitled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's quickly breeze through what we found in the news, but we ran out of time. <laughs> All right, so what are we starting with? Tina, are you ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay, um, multiple auto crash on car bridge. This is quite sad. Very sad. <sighs> I, I thought we were over this accident on that Lagos to Badon Expressway, but unfortunately, this happened today. There was an accident involving an 18 seater bus belonging to GEO Motors a Sienna car, a Toyota Corolla, and a Toyota Matrix car. And this accident happened um, early this morning on Kara Bridge on the Lagos Badon Expressway access. And eyewitnesses claim that the trailer rammed the vehicles from behind, mm. which led to the Toyota Matrix car falling off the bridge while the Toyota Jeep got seriously damaged. Mm. There was also an unconscious body of a hawker that was oh seen lying on the road. Mm. I, can, oh I can imagine the gory. Oh my God. <sighs> this is actually really, really sad. Yeah. So Very yeah, that's what I found the news for us today. Very sad. Let's okay. move on. That's a very like, sad news. Like, you know these things are like... Let's just go on. The National Universities Commission, NUC, has directed that all universities in the country should go on break from February 22nd to March 14th this year for students to partake in the coming general elections. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think it's a good idea because we don't know where the country is headed at this rate. So, uh, yeah. But what's going to happen to offices as well? Are we going to go on break? <laughs> somebody yeah. was, I, I was listening in on the radio, somebody was saying that it's only in this country that if we carry election like as if we're going to warfare. The election is supposed to be fun. It's only something you just walk out from your office, you quickly go, go drop your boat you and go and do whatever it is that you're doing. But because again, you know, um, power, we have a lot of power drunk people that just want to be in power by all means. So Nigerians, um, the, the, the elections in Nigeria is kind of like unique because it's like I do it or I die. You know, it's a do or die affair it's kind of thing. Strange. So I don't know. Haven't you heard people that are saying that they're not coming back to last because they're not sure security? Uh, who, 
do we not have somebody so, amongst us that we know <laughs> that has that is shaped to you that person i don't know i don't know i didn't see anything <laughs> But you won't blame them now. Come <laughs> on. It's yeah. like we're at war. You yeah. guys will have foil, no water. Come on. Life. Like Jennifer, your story. So Tem said to bag another RIAA plaque for found. Okay. Um, so Tem's recently won um, a Grammy Award and she's set to receive another RIAA plaque to her collection after her single past the 500,000 mark in sales and this is actually worldwide um, so there was a US um, chat data that actually brought all of these out and said that she, um, in the US she topped 500,000 units for her song and she had also topped for her previous song which was um, Free Mind and Higher and it's actually really amazing the rate at which Thames is going so far she has done a song with Beyonce, she has done a song with Future, mm -hmm. she has done a song with a couple of other people, with Drake as Drake, well. Yeah. So it's like, I, I mean, they did um, a Rock Nation brunch recently, and Thames was there, and I was like, okay, girl, go, girl. Okay. And she's doing so well. For someone who hasn't even really dropped an album, all her singles have actually been a hit. So mm -hmm. congratulations, Thames. I'm really, really rooting for you. I'm happy for you. So I feel like most times in the music industry, there's just that one person that just comes, you know, I think it's just her time. Mm. But everything that she has touched, you know, has literally ch uh, turned Turn out to, to be gold. Yeah. yeah. I'm proud of her. She's yeah. good. Yeah. So our president, Boo Boo, <laughs> it was Uti that shared this story, actually. Mm -hmm. She said, ah, Boo Boo is, is, is he cannot wait to, 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 <laughs> to leave. <laughs> so the president has actually um, approved the establishment of the Presidential Transition Com uh, Council to oversee the 2023 um, transition program and you know he signed the executive order 14 of 2023 on facilitation and management of the presidential transitions so a key feature of this presidential executive order is the institutionalization of a legal framework that would enable a seamless transition of power from one presidential administration to another I think this is a good thing yeah. all right um, this is what we say that you know when let the best man win and whatever happens whoever wins the president should be ready to say you know what take my hand over notes and you know go and prosper on that note i want to take a break <laughs> i right, come back from the break well i think it's a good it's a good move yeah. we'll discuss this um, lagos state parks and garden uh proposed partnership with the INEC residents in, in lagos stay with us we'll be right back <laughs> 